Warning, this video contains high concentrations of Jeffy. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey there guys, it's Jeffy. What's up? This is some COD 4. I don't know why, but I got back in the habit of playing COD 4. I've been playing it a lot lately. I got some really good games. I wanted to brag about this one just slightly because I go 35 and 9. I usually don't do that good. Like I'm, I usually go a little bit above a double KD, but doing this well, I was like, okay, this is definitely, this is definitely YouTube, like to the max YouTube. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know I enjoyed playing it. Just totally destroyed these kids, and all that fun stuff. Now, um, I recorded some stuff for Intoxicated Friday last night because I've not done a video for that in quite a while. Figured I'd do it, but this time instead of talking about something while I'm drunk, I just decided to play some games and record it live. And I've watched it, and it was really, really stupid. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, since it's freaking retarded. But, you know, it could either be really good or really stupid. I have no freaking idea. I think it's a little bit funny, but who knows? I am merely a video creator. I'm not a judge. But, uh, yeah. Call of Duty 4, really getting pumped for uh, Modern Warfare 3 coming out here pretty soon. And for anyone who's a fan of my uh, Dragon Ball Z series, which I do every once in a while, I'll play a game of that and record it. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi comes out like late October. I forgot the exact date, but it's late October. So I'm going to be getting that and playing a lot of it because it looks freaking awesome. I mean, you can create your own characters, and I've always dreamed of making my... This is something really... St I'm going to get into a little story here. Uh, back when I was like 15, 16-ish... I had some friends who were really into D&D, &D and I always thought D&D &D was really stupid. I was like, that's fucking retarded. But it turns out, I got in there and started playing with them. They don't play D&D &D like Dungeons and Dragons. They use the D&D &D rules, and then they create their own universes. And, like, they made D&D &D with Star Wars. They made it with Dragon Ball Z. They made it with Naruto, which was fucking stupid. But they made it with, like, Bleach. They made it with a bunch of different anime series. They made their own worlds where you just create a character, make its customizable skills, and then play. It, it was freaking awesome as a kid. It was just the most amazing experience of my life. I mean, I was able to create my own individual character, totally anything I could think of goes pretty much. You know, it's D&D. &D. Any kind of idea I had for this guy went into it. It was just such amazing. Uh, you had a little sheet, you wrote down the stats, you wrote down the characteristics, you wrote down their attacks. Then the uh, guy who was in charge had that. And then you'd roll dice to see what would happen, and like certain it was really cool. It, it's really hard to get. I I barely remember it, so it's hard for me to explain the details of it. But if you know what D and D is, you'd know what I'm talking about. And it was just the most insane, fun times I ever had. Like I spent a lot of weekends doing it, and it was just really, really fun. And the games could last like, the games could last seriously months. It was just intense. We'd make up pretty much our own stories and series as we played. It was really fun. But you know. We all got older, moved away, separated, and the little group broke up, and I'm sure as fuck not going to go down to some gaming, uh, some card game store and play D&D &D with the kids there, because they are not like my friends. They aren't cool kids who make up cool stories. They're like, imagine living trolls that try hard at D&D. &D. That's what they are. They just, they were like super tryhards, and all they did was bitch about rules. That's the kind of kids who go to those places. It's really weird. But anyway, enough about fucking D&D. &D. Let's talk about COD. I am totally buying Modern Warfare 3. I am going to do a... I might do a Let's Play of the campaign. Probably not, though, because I didn't even play Modern Warfare 2 uh, campaign. So, Oh, burp as fuck. But uh, I will be doing a lot of uh, gameplay stuff. I'll be breaking down what I think about the games, certain guns I like, certain guns I don't like, uh, the perk systems I enjoy. And hopefully the first two or three weeks when the game's out, no one will find that perfect uh, one-man army noob tube combo that makes you invincible and we can all have fun with it for a little while. I'm sure at some point someone will figure out how to break it. That always happens in every COD. I mean, COD 4 had a uh, multi-frag, which honestly wasn't a big deal. Uh, freaking COD 5 World at War had uh, that freaking... It was a submachine gun and the thing killed you in like two bullets and it had an insane rate of fire, and every other gun took like three to four bullets to kill you, so it was insanely overpowered. And for a submachine gun, it had amazing range, too. But that's beside the point. That gun was just like super OP. And of course, Modern Warfare 2, everyone says, oh, Woman Army Noob Tubes, Javelin Glitch, the uh, Model 1887s, the Spaz has too much range, the uh, MP5 
5K, not the MP5K, the uh, UMP is way overpowered. Everyone bitches about that, and then Black Ops, it's, oh, the FAMAS, and the AK-74U, and the problem, the reason that they th think those guns are overpowered is because when a game like Call of Duty is fairly balanced, it has, m most of the guns are close to each other, there's little differences, but they're not too bad. If there's one that's even slightly better than all the other ones, once you have that gun, everyone starts using it, and it's not that it's overpowered, it's that it's overused, and when you die to the same gun 47 times, you start saying, Fuck that gun! That gun's OP! That gun kills me every time! And then people get upset over it, and it's really stupid. I don't believe that any weapon's overpowered. Unless they had some kind of assault rifle that fired bullets that curved around corners, cut through walls, and hit a guy who just spawned in the face, it's not overpowered. If you have to aim and shoot at a guy to kill him, it's not overpowered. It, it also, if you have the potential to use that gun, but you just don't want to, it's not overpowered. If everyone can use it, shut the fuck up. So, that's what I hate. I'm, I hate people who say things are overpowered. They're not. And for the perks, okay, Ghost might be a little bit annoying, but look, you know what? I don't care if a kid uses Ghost. It's the tactics that go with it. Ghost itself is not annoying. A guy who hides in a bush is annoying. Regardless of whether he has Ghost or not, it's annoying. The same thing happened in Modern Warfare 1 and 2 and World at War. They'd wear the UAV blocker and then hide in a corner. That is different. A guy can wear a UAV blocker then run around and kill people. That's fine. It's corner camping that's bullshit. That's the difference. And I don't really mind tactical camping. That's totally fine. When you kill, 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 move position, kill, 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 move position, that's defensive play. But when you lay down in one spot and refuse to move while you're hiding, that's bullshit. So, thank you for watching. This is a lot of really weird topics all rolled into one, and it's a jumbled mess of my thoughts. So, peace out, guys.